Hello, my name is Robin Obar. I'm a Mamu Jitable woman from North Queensland. I'm also a PhD candidate. My title is the Indigenous Research Fellow at Bachelor Institute and I'm nearing the final stages of my PhD, ready for submission um, near the end of the year. I've been at Bachelor Institute for um, many years, so I would say 33 years in total. I first came to Bachelor as a student in 1983 to do my teacher education studies. I left and I went out teaching in the Northern Territory in Queensland and in 1991 I came back as a tutor in the teacher education program, then as a lecturer and then I've moved into research. So I've been in research about seven years um, and now doing my PhD. I would recommend Bachelor Institute for anyone, any Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander people who are interested in doing their PhD Please come to Bachelor Institute. This is the best place for you. Um, it's, a, it's a place where you feel at home. It's a place where you have the support. You, you're in a supportive environment. You have people around you who are able to encourage you and help you throughout that journey. It's like um, coming into a part of my family, part of me, part of my identity. So I would definitely recommend um, Bachelor Institute for anybody who wants to do any postgrad studies. My PhD is about Aboriginal English as a social, cultural and identity marker in tertiary education. But my focus is on teacher education. So it's um, education is my background. So I'm really interested in language um, culture, identity and learning. So that's a really um, an area of, of um, fascination for me. My three supervisors for this PhD study is Dr Lynn Fasoli, Dr Jackie Troy and Dr Michael Christie. Lynn has had many years in early childhood, especially in remote communities. She's worked with me in education at Bachelor Institute. So we have a fairly strong relationship. I've also um, privileged to have Dr Troy with me. Um, she's an Indigenous linguist um, from New South Wales who've, who's done a lot of work in Aboriginal Creoles and Englishes and different varieties of languages that Aboriginal people speak. And Dr Michael Christie is also a, a linguist but um, has worked in North East Arnhem Land in many of the communities over there, speaks Yungamatha fluently and, and is able to bring that linguistic perspective to my uh, project. I think Bachelor Institute recognises Indigenous knowledges by providing the space and creating the space for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander researchers, teachers, students um, to feel comfortable, but not comfortable in a way that um, is too relaxing but comfortable in a way that they can draw, we can draw on our own knowledge systems. We um, don't have to pretend to be like someone we're not, we don't have to conform. We, we have a space here where we're working with other Indigenous Australians, we have um, family connections here, we, we have social connections here. I think the most important thing at the start of your PhD journey is to have a, have a generally a good idea of what area you want to focus on. Like, what are the things that interest you? What do you care about? What do you want to make a difference in? And one of the things that is really important is to think about how is it going to uh, benefit others, especially our own people. So that's the thing that I, I brought in. It, it was something that I found I had to go back over that question. Who was this benefiting? Is it just about me getting a PhD or is it about me um, gaining this, this qualification so that I can help others, help out, especially in the education area? So I think that whole thing about being equipped, being prepared, putting time aside, you, you have to prioritise because we as Aboriginal people, we have, you know, lots of things going on in our life. We're busy people, so you need to think, am I ready for this journey? Can I prioritise? Can I fit this, this PhD study in into my life at the moment? And so these are all the questions I think people um, that I've learnt that people who are 
um, thinking about doing a PhD um, need to consider before starting.